Are you building an off-grid solar system and stuck wondering whether to go with 12V, 24V or 48V batteries? Trust me, getting this decision wrong can cost you thousands of dollars, waste hours of labor and leave your dream solar system struggling to power even basic appliances. Did you know that using a 12V battery system in the wrong setup can result in dangerous heat buildup or even burn out your inverter? Or that a 48V system, while highly efficient, poses safety risks and requires precise expertise to manage? If you've been overwhelmed by technical jargon and aren't sure which battery voltage will make your off-grid system thrive, stay with me until the end. We'll cover the key factors like efficiency, safety, cost and scalability and you'll walk away with a clear answer on what's right for your specific needs, whether it's a small RV system or a full-fledged off-grid house. And yes, there are real trade-offs that can make or break your solar setup, so make sure you don't miss a thing. All right, let's start with why this decision is so important. Batteries are the backbone of an off-grid solar system. The voltage you choose, whether it's 12V, 24V or 48V, affects everything. How much power you can store, how efficient your system is, the size of the wiring you'll need, and even how much you'll spend on inverters and charge controllers. For small setups like RVs or tiny cabins, you might think that 12V batteries are the simplest choice, and you're not wrong. They are cheap, readily available, and easy to wire. But if you're planning to power high demand appliances like refrigerators, air conditioners, or water pumps, a 12V system could fall short forcing you to run multiple batteries in parallel and increasing the complexity. That's where higher voltages, 24V and 48V come in, offering better efficiency and reduced power loss. One of the biggest advantages of higher voltages, 24V and 48V systems, is that they minimize power loss over long distances. Let me break it down. In a solar power system, current flows through the wires from the battery to the appliances. The longer the distance, the more power is lost as heat in the wires. And this heat loss grows exponentially with lower voltages like 12V. For example, running the same amount of power on a 12V system versus a 48V system could require quadruple the wire thickness, driving up the cost and complexity of wiring. So if your batteries will be far from your appliances or solar panels, a higher voltage like 48V will help keep the system more efficient and cost effective. But not every system needs 48V and we'll get into that in just a moment, so stay with me. Now let's talk about scalability. This is where a lot of people make mistakes. If you start small with a 12V system, thinking you'll just add more batteries and panels as you grow, you might hit a wall sooner than you think. Here's the catch. In larger systems, wiring multiple 12V batteries in parallel can cause imbalances between batteries, shortening their lifespan. This also adds complexity to the system because you'll need more fuses, wiring, and careful battery monitoring. With 24V or 48V systems, you reduce the number of parallel connections, making the setup more manageable and reliable over time. In fact, many off-grid enthusiasts recommend 24V as the sweet spot for medium-sized systems. It's easier to scale than 12V, but not as expensive or complicated as 48V. Inverters play a critical role in your solar setup by converting DC power from batteries into AC power for appliances. But here's the catch. Inverter performance and availability depend heavily on your battery voltage. If you're using a 12V system, your inverter options will be limited, especially for appliances with high wattage needs like a washing machine or microwave. 
24V and 48V systems open up more inverter choices, especially for larger setups. In fact, most high capacity inverters, those 3000 bars and above, are optimized for 48V systems because they need higher input voltage to perform efficiently. So if you plan to run several high demand appliances, you'll need a higher voltage system to avoid overloading your inverter. Now let's talk about something most people overlook, safety. While 12V systems are generally safer to handle, they become increasingly impractical as your energy needs grow. 24V systems strike a good balance between safety and efficiency, but once you move into 48V territory, things get a bit more serious. At 48V, the risk of electrical shock is higher, which means you'll need to be more careful during installation and maintenance. This isn't a reason to avoid 48V systems. After all, electricians work with higher voltages all the time, but it does mean that if you're a beginner, starting with a 12V or 24V system might be a smarter and safer choice until you gain more experience. Let's get real. Cost is always a big factor. At first glance, 12V batteries are the cheapest and easiest to find. But remember, a 12V system becomes more expensive and less efficient as it grows because you'll need more batteries, thicker wires and higher maintenance. On the other hand, 48V systems require more expensive components upfront, like inverters and charge controllers. But they save you money in the long run by being more efficient and reducing wire costs. 24V systems sit comfortably in the middle, offering a good balance between upfront cost and future scalability. If you're building a permanent off-grid home, a 48V system might be worth the higher initial investment to ensure long-term performance and reliability. So, what's the final verdict? If you're setting up a small system for an RV, boat or tiny cabin, go with 12V. It's simple, affordable and gets the job done for low power needs. But if you're building a medium-sized system for a cabin or small off-grid home, 24V will offer better efficiency without overwhelming you with costs or complexity. And if you're planning a large system with significant appliances, think air conditioning, refrigerators or well pumps, 48V is the way to go. It will cost more upfront, but the efficiency and reliability you gain will be worth it in the long run. The key is to choose a voltage that fits your current needs while keeping an eye on the future. If you plan to expand your system over time, starting with 24V or 48V will save you from headaches later. And there you have it. The choice between 12V, 24V and 48V batteries can seem overwhelming, but if you understand your power needs and future plans, the right choice becomes clear. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you've had experiences with different battery voltages. Thanks for watching and good luck with your solar journey.